Hey, this is Jeff with Georgia Fire and Rescue Supply. And we're going to take a look again at another competitor's thermal imager. Uh, this is another installment on our series of thermal imagers that not all thermal imagers are created equal. This is a competitor's uh, thermal imager that's on the market and being marketed as a low cost uh, thermal imager and being stated of having a lot of features. So let's take a, a closer look at this and uh, see where we're at with it. So let's take a couple of close-up looks at this thermal imager. This imager has been used in a training fire and you can see that it did not hold up to the heat exposure very well. You see damage to the thermal imager here. It's melted. Here it is melted. The bezel is melted and separated and here it is melted and here it is melted so it comes questionable as how does this hold up to heat exposure let's take a look at the owner's manual and see what it says about uh, heat exposure all right let's take a look at the uh, user's manual for this particular thermal imager about what it says to, to, about heat exposure Okay, this is straight out of the user's manual, and it says robust and reliable. The blank series is designed to meet tough operating conditions. It can withstand a drop from 2 meters or 6.5 feet onto a concrete floor and is water resistant to IP67 and is fully operating up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I think the fires that a lot of us are working in is a lot hotter than 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe that's why the imager showed damage in the training fire. Let's look at a few more things. Okay, this is the uh, little book here that comes with this thermal imager. It says warnings and cautions. And in here, one thing that I want to point out to you under accuracy, I'm going to read to you what it says. For very accurate results, we recommend that you wait five minutes after you have started this camera before measuring temperature. Folks, <laughs> we are responding to emergencies. Do you have five minutes to wait for this to become accurate? Let's look at a couple other things. Okay, here what we want to take a look at is some of the discrepancies in temperature measurement and accuracy. Here it says that the object, the, the uh, high heat o object over there, that heater, is 356 degrees Fahrenheit. But now, what my question is, is where we're getting a lot of inaccuracies on it, is now it says when we put the target on there, it says it's over 1,200 degrees. And so, you know, what we're asking is, is this an accurate tool for us to be using in a firefighting? Now it says it's 356 degrees, but we know nothing's been altered on that LP gas uh, heater that's over on the table. Nothing's been changed about it, but yet the instrument is to help giving us a very very wide range of temperature although the actual fire itself has not changed at all so you know is this an accurate tool uh, there's lots of discrepancies in this particular instrument all right let's look at a few more things so this thermal imager is being marketed right now pretty heavily on the internet as being a low cost thermal imager loaded with lots of features. Now we've used this in uh, the fire uh, situations that we've uh, been doing some testing with this and it's sporadic with all kinds of results and I can't uh, get it to uh, recreate the results consistently. It's very inconsistent with some of the things we're seeing such as 
images being frozen, such as a very scratchy image on a screen, uh, such as uh, human beings disappearing when there's a very high heat source, and inaccurate readings on the uh, temperature scale that's on here. Uh, we've had it even uh, well below uh, freezing and, and uh, showing a very freezing, uh, you know, below 32 degrees Fahrenheit when we know it was a several hundred degrees. So there's lots of questionable issues about this particular t type of platform of thermal imager. If you're considering this, I would uh, give it a lot of uh, scrutiny and do a lot of research and compare it to what we have available from Bullard. Make sure we're comparing apples to apples. Our uh, research has not shown this to be equal to what we would be able to cover and provide for you if you were to choose a Bullard product. So keep in mind we're a company of firefighters serving firefighters and all thermal imagers are not created equal. If you're interested and want to know more uh, on the screen here is our phone number and our website. Feel free to contact us and we'll be glad to work with you. Talk to you later and have a good day.